It's Clark, Clark and Perry on the case. Ja, na, na, na. Clark and Perry do what it takes. Ja, na, na, na. Clark and Perry investigate. The activities and interests of local artists in the Windy City's finest throughout both Lethbridge and Medicine Hat, Alberta. Available on Telus, Optic TV, On Demand, Bidflex, YouTube, and more for limited time only. Terms and conditions apply. Ja, na, na, na. <laughs> I'm just going to, oh, sorry, dip that or just leave it. Yeah, that looks really pretty. Isn't that like a nice? Premix blue because I mean you could do it by yourself or you could just buy four ounces of it at the store, right? I'm like in love with that color. Yeah, it's really pretty. I saw it. I was like, oh, you're pretty. I should probably rinse off my fingertips before I, uh, um, I don't know, wipe my eye or something. <laughs> just wiping on my shirt. Yeah, I love this sweater, but it just like got ratty. I'm like, oh, it's a painting shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it works. Mm -hmm. I'm just wearing my regular clothes, so I hope the apron saves me. Because when I did that painting demonstration at Casa, I had paint from like, and of course, because I'm like doing paint for it, so I put my fingers in it. And I had paint for my fingertips, my elbow. I had some of my hair. <sighs> It was That's just hard to get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and especially if you have something like trim plaid. I don't know if you ever got trim plaid in your hair. It's just there. I got just... a previous job. We were doing win winter maintenance, so we took all the stuff off the sprayers and we were repainting them with trim plaid red, and it got in my hair, and it literally had to just grow out. And I'm just stressed if it's stuck under my nail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff dries very quickly. Yeah, it does. It's part of that is just because of acrylic. And part of that yep. is just because of like the relative humidity here is even when it's high for here, it's still pretty low compared mm -hmm. to some other places. Does that does that cause a lot of problems for you folks? Like when when you're painting, like even live uh, on the canvas and everything like that too? Or is it uh, like, I mean, for example, I've left some pretty wet globs and I've just kind of left them. Is that, uh, or like <laughs> until I get to them a bit later type thing? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Like I just, uh, that's kind of all I know. And like texture is kind of, it'll, it'll like add to, to, to the image either way if you have like a little texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and should we paint over that? Yeah, we should paint yeah. over that yellow. Yeah. Well, well, that was a mistake. <laughs> I, was we really led happy accident. <laughs> <laughs> a demonstration. It was, should, uh, it was yeah. very, very Should important. I use ivory black or Mars black? Ivory black is more like regular black, right? Mm, probably for this one. I yeah. like Mars black personally because it's like dark, like the dark, like the red, Yeah, I want to use that for the trees. Black. Yes. The proper dark darkness that you're looking for yeah. right yeah, and okay the uh the you ivory is more... thing, what is the ivory based off of is it green I don't know. blue something but i don't know what it's more based off of i'm wondering if you can show me a little bit of what you were talking about before here back when it came hmm. to uh um you kind of had what did you call it highlights yeah like yeah highlights on the like border there we go. Yeah, so they were just kind of like thicker globs of paint that you you just, <laughs> just I, I guess them. kind of left. <laughs> Forgive me, I don't have uh, the same. Uh... It was like I um, since the, we like had a wet brush for the under part, it was like smoother. I like to just like not even wet. Oh, here, it, let's just like add because mm -hmm. it'll like hold, like whatever you put on top of the paint behind it, it'll like hold onto it, so you can just like. And it just like adds an accent, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see that. I see that now. I might be able to add another one just to. Well, oh, sorry. That's okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't get it there. So you didn't just like I just move it around because it's all like space clouds. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can even like push it like a little off the center, but like keeping the focus on the take inside. Take some there. of the paint off of this palette knife. Sure. Some more. Yeah. 
I think I'll give a shot of that as well too. No, thank you for showing me that. Yeah, there's still a whole bunch in here, but I moved the bulk of that paint over here just to keep it from drying out real quick. And I'm just gonna kind of bathe it in some water just to keep the surface from drying out. And to like smoothen if you get any like straight lines, which I have a bunch, because yeah. if you use a dryer brush, you could just like keep going over it and it'll smooth out eventually. Is over here like looking okay? Because I do have mm, some straight like lines, that. but and and also like like you know, a lot of art is meant to be like appreciated from a distance. So like anything yeah. that like when you see it up close and you're like, I don't yeah. like how like that line might look. Like mm -hmm. once you take like a foot and like step back and yeah, it works out. But yeah, and it'll help with, um, cause the... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Um, so like, yeah, we can put it like on the edge here and it'll help kind of shape like the dark center of the Milky right. Way too. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna like shape that out with brighter colors too, but it's just kind of like, yeah, a little border. Um, do you think I should do a little bit more in here or is this already kind of tight enough? Because we're going to sponge on top of it. I like it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I really like this little piece. Oh, yeah? Because that looks like... I can do a couple more of those. Yeah, maybe I'll do that over here. Because mine is... Yeah. I'm also doing this without my glasses because they broke. Oh, no. <laughs> you go to visit Devin. Devin? Yeah. He has an eyeglass repair kit. <gasps> oh, no. I lost the arm. We can make an arm. I don't know. He can 3D print. That's her. That's her housemate. <laughs> yes. So I've got like my um, platonic husband. That's the guy I own a house with. Of course. <laughs> yeah, because we're like financially kind of married, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, even it's almost super married because um, if one of us passes away, then the survivor has a relationship with the estate of the deceased one. But when you're married, if one of you passes, then the marriage is done. <laughs> like, right. So, yeah. 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 So, so it's an ultra marriage. Yeah. And uh, someone pointed that out to me is actually, um, someone we work with. He's like, Oh, so you, you're like more than married. Like, what are you talking about? And then he like, explain that and, and then I said oh my god yeah that's right um, <laughs> and then I have yeah my romantic husband who's like my boyfriend mm -hmm. and uh, yeah yeah because I'm just like watching him like oh, yeah, yeah 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 okay yeah. so these these highlight okay yeah, yeah yeah so that kind of highlights and makes the center pop a little bit more as well too so yeah. I'll fill in these gaps and, and you can like feel just... free to like like, like make the edges it. like messy if you want yeah. to like on the inside. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like, like a straight it. line. But that's a good like, to, yeah, because yeah, you could cool. just like come back after and like add some schmears. Um, are we Very good nice. to change yeah. this water? I think yes. so. I think we're ready. Okay. I'm pretty happy. Might just dunk one last yeah, time. Yeah, dunk one last time. I actually got some paint all up in the furrow, so I actually have to clean this brush or it's going to be a problem. Okay. I'll just... There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm like, if you need to move it. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah, I guess we'll probably start like this. So, yeah. How are you feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. I've done makeup before, so we've had like um, uh, like highlights is terminology that we're kind of used to. Contour, I think as well. Uh, yeah. What what else are we kind of looking for when it comes to shadows and and kind of the light and dark playing around with, a little bit with that? Uh, well, we're gonna kind of like stick to like the color scheme. Like we're gonna add greens, but we're gonna add like um, with the highlights, like just a little bit of pink. Okay. And like. Usually, like, pink versus blue on paintings, like, you can, like, paint them on top of each other without having to worry about, like, the opacity or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. it, like it doesn't absorb it. It's, like, the opposite because of the contrast. So, like... Right. Yeah, so we'll have some contrasty stuff, too. And some yeah. splatters. Fantastic. And so the next step, we're going to be bringing in some green, it sounds like? Small yeah. Thing? So, okay. I'm trying to think of how... Oh, yeah, because we usually have it, like... I think we kind of 
like the green kind of on the outside. I don't know. I, I think we should do some lighter green just like as part of like the sponge part. No, what do you think? Because we've got like, I really like this darker and lighter kind of glow we've got going on. Yeah, because like, cause, yeah, usually yeah. we'd have the green like out. Yeah, yeah but I think we forgot. <laughs> do you um, want to try like purple? Yeah. Okay. Well, do you want to do like straight up quinacridone purple or? Yeah, maybe yeah. just like. Just to follow along the smooth, like dark blue there. Okay. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit. Hey. Just a, a shmiot. I trust the process. Just because I'm like the green. Yeah, because that's a good idea with the green to like put it in the sponge part. Instead. Yeah, and have like a lighter green. And oh yeah, there's the uh, the paint goober. So I just got rid of that. <laughs> so this is uh, was it quinacridone? No, no, no. Quinacridone is violet. I'm very silly. This is dioxazine purple. Okay. So <laughs> I didn't realize that there was a difference between the two, but oh, there there's is. there's such a difference. Yeah, there is. This is quinacridone magenta. Oh. This is dioxazine purple. Okay, and is that, that's just to make sure I'm on the same page, that's different materials, right? Yeah, different pigments. Okay, different pigments, so, different materials that made the pigments. Like, okay. yeah. The dioxazine purple, okay. it dries, like that's it. It looks almost black. That is black, if you ask me yeah. really quickly what that was. Yup, yeah. So dark. with that lighting, yeah, it, okay. it's black. So do we want to put a little bit of white in there, my friend? Yeah. Yeah, good. just, just a smidge. It seems that the, that mixing white is pretty decent as well, too. It's really lightened up kind of that dark blue we were playing with before. and I'm It not does, gonna... but it's not as intense as um the titanium white that's the titanium white here yeah it's not as intense so kind of like i'm that just gonna color. try like this amount huh yeah because we don't want it to be lighter than this either oh i no. mean i made our lives complicated sorry i'm good at that no hey no that's okay <laughs> but then we can still use oh, this that's... i i can put a bunch of like i can put titanium white in some of this and then we can when we move on to the sponge part so this is still like phase one. Yeah, that's sick actually. That's a really nice that's color. Cool. I love it. I love art. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is gonna go it's on pleasing. the outside of like the dark. Okay. Blue. So it'll bring your blue between the black. So the yeah. So will like lead to the black. The bridge. It's a darker. Okay. Between the dark blue and the black. Cause like yeah, our our borders like about here. Very yeah. wide, okay. And I've kept mine pretty linear as well too. So I'm gonna have to. So like in about that this, was like even like this area, yeah, like just between it. Okay. So okay. in like kind of yeah. this zone, kind of back. Yeah. Yep. 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 And a little bit dipping in. Yeah. Yeah. I squeezed out like way way too much purple, but that's okay. That's okay. Be generous. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to put some, like, even on the edge of the canvas. Yeah. Still, that... like, consistency. <laughs> yeah, so I was at, what was it? It was, like, a drink and draw at um, at the Owl, like, a local bar. And someone saw me. I was working on that pointillism jellyfish that I had done. And I was doing it on the edge. And someone looked at me and said, oh, you're one of those. I was like... <laughs> Coloring within the lines, people, come on. Yeah, I, I really like painting the edges of the canvas because it just kind of like brings it together. It, it You know, when you yep. hang it up on the wall and if you see the edge, you don't have to frame your canvas. It's just like, it's completely finished. And I didn't even start doing that until I met you. Oh, so right. I, I always like and white now or black. You're colors. one of those I too. Am. Yeah, sometimes. You're one of those. Or just even like, yeah, I think sometimes you'll you'll paint the edges like black or white, depending on what suits the canvas. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to be one of those people right now as well, too. It doesn't make me feel as bad. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I used to be a very big person about coloring in the lines, but this is, here we go. Is this, uh, could I do like maybe, yeah, probably like just a little bit more over there, hey? Yeah. Yeah. do do? I'm liking, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm digging it. 
Okay, so you'll have it three and a half days of the week, and I'll have it three and a half days sure. of the week. Okay. <laughs> we'll exchange on Sundays. Yes. But yeah, it's... Uh, also, while we wait for some of this to dry, I can talk about um, the keys and like what to do with those and why they should come in the package. And these didn't have any keys. Like, cool. A lot of them like don't anymore, which like. Which is it's like, come on. That's right. So <laughs> keys. What are we? What are we talking about that when you? Okay. What you mentioned. So I'm gonna flip this over. Oh, you good? I'm okay. Good. I'm good. I'm good. I just I've I've been in purple, but I'm good. Um, you you just you can keep doing your thing. So there's these notches back here. Okay. Right, like these little notches, and it should come with like a little tiny baggie with uh, these little wooden. Um, I like feel free. They're like tiny fingers. little wooden okay. shins almost. But they're all like kind of one thickness. They're about like mom, um, what, like two millimeters thick, mm -hmm. and, like yeah. this wide. And uh, the tip of one side is kind of cut at an angle, and you actually slide them inside of here, and you tap them in. And what it does is it puts a bit of pressure on the frame so that it'll kind of stretch your canvas a little bit more and like tighten it up. But this didn't come with any keys. So That's it's interesting. just going to be kind of kind of flappy. That almost sounds pretty critical as well, too, because you yeah. don't want this thing to fall over on you while you're in the middle of uh, painting it at the same time, right? And huh. it can like warp. Yeah, it's also just this and ripple that. and warp. Like on yours, I can see there's a ripple like right in here. Right, yeah. Yeah, you can see that. So the keys kind of take care of it. Yeah, and so I don't there's know kind how... of like a dent in the canvas. Okay. Yeah, it's like a ripple. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's... I don't even know why I'm doing that. It's <laughs> not necessary. But what are we feeling? Is that... I, I like it. I yeah. think I could probably put a bit more in here, though. Yeah, because we have, like, the lean. So we can have, like... Yeah, okay. I feel like there could be... Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna get some water on that brush. No, oh, that really like brings out the, the details too. Yeah, like, and just like, just there. yeah, you can make, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See? Unanimous yeah. agreement, it sounds like. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And so you've worked on a few canvases together as well, a lot. Um, mm. so what's it, what's it like painting with a partner? I mean, if you have someone that you like painting with, it's great. Okay. <laughs> yes. That's, uh, that's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah. If your communication is good, then it's just like, it's like hanging out. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. hanging out and doing an activity together. Yeah. Like. <laughs> that's awesome. I've also yeah. done this with, um. Not this specific style or even, you know, with brushes, but I've done paint pours uh, with my boyfriend. Mm. So um, we've done one where, like, uh, and it's funny because um, he's actually purchased one of mine. Oh. From the Slice. Yeah. When we had that show at the Slice, the first one, he just went up and went to the purveyor of the establishment and just bought one of my paintings like full price which is like honey <laughs> but oh. also like that's nice he keeps know? the money within the family dang it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like i'll probably just like spend it on him later anyway so yeah uh, so we did that and then we did one together where um he was kind of learning the techniques of like that particular paint pour so we each took turns like picking out the colors and putting it in the paint pour cup and then I dumped it and then he kind of like tilted it and then we did one or, or he did one where I just like assisted him by like mixing the colors to the right consistency and then right. he picked it all and then he did it all himself. Huh. Yeah, we, he's got those hanging up in his room. So That's amazing. Yeah. I, I'm I'm really again, I, I still don't know what I'm painting, but I'm really excited to see what the end product is gonna be. So so out of out of everything so far, where where would you say where we're at? Like out of the phases, out of the four phases that we're at. I think phase one is like this complete. Is, yeah. Okay. So like next will be the sponge, spongy. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sponge and then stars. The much anticipated punch. Okay. (laughs) The much anticipated sponge. Yes. Probably need to change the water. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent need to change that water. So, um, kind of like actually leave the brush a little bit saturated because we won't actually be using those for a while. And then if you just kind of rest it off to the side. Um, do we, do, I just I kind of want to use up that paint. So do you want me to like lighten that a whole bunch? Do we want to go with like a light purple or should we just lean into like a mint green? Uh, um, I was thinking. I could certainly add more. Um, hmm? That's something I could do. I was a little too generous, like not generous enough. I oh, think, yeah, yeah, over yeah, here. you can go ahead if you yeah. want to do that. So pink. So that would be the quinacridone magenta. Quinacridone. Okay, so we'll, we'll wait, we'll, we'll okay. add some. Quinacrychrome magenta, excellent. Do you want, um, I think we should maybe just use, cause I noticed the, tit- uh, the mixing white has been a little chonky. So just wanna use the titanium. Yeah. Yeah, I just use like a bit less, I guess. We could mix some of, like if there is leftover purple. like There's maybe so much leftover like, purple. Cause then we could just, yeah, do you want to like mix that. some of these together and then put some white in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just so you're aware, Brent, I'm just yeah. putting... Yeah, you can see, like, the difference between the two. I'm just putting some of those, like, off to the side. So unless you, like, really deliberately want that, then don't put your brush in there. Okay. Just fair warning. <laughs> hey, no, fair enough. Thanks. I don't know. Let's... I think I think I'm gonna be happy with what I have so far. Once I'm done blending this in. Oh wow! Look at that cool purple. That's really neat. It's a very like. Oh my goodness. Like visceral purple. It's like maroon kind of. Yeah, I'm feeling it. But let's make it significantly Bright. lighter. Yeah. Just regular white for this one. I was thinking. <sighs> I don't know. We need to try using up the mixing white. If there's a chunk, we'll just like pick it off the canvas with our fingernail. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, yeah, and it'll be like textured, so it'll be. I'm just gonna put it over here. It's a nice big goober. So yeah, if you still want that purple, it is over here. I really like. Yeah, I really yeah. like what was created. That's right like there. really cool, hey. So that's the quinacridone and magenta. It's gonna be like a. Bright purple, but a slightly different color. Ooh, is that, you want a bit darker, you think? Or it'll dry darker. So, I don't know, I kind of like that. Yeah. Because yeah. it'll just be like super, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm whispering. Let me see who's back there. I'll just do Oh, yeah. Okay. That's really neat. That is definitely like almost Pink Panther. Yeah, it kind of is. Where is yeah. it? Oh, it's, oh, really it's right there. there. Yeah, it's right there. The glasses. Excellent. I, I kind of want to see what's... Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very, very small hints of the purple. I can yes. see, I can see it very on this side. Yeah. yeah. Lots of blending in there as well, too. And it's also it's because it's so dark, even after mm-hmm. mixing it with white. And then when you dilute it and spread it with water, it kind of like makes it the paint translucent and just yeah. spreads across the canvas. Yeah, because you were right, Beck. You take a step back, I can actually see where some of the paint is dried as well, too. Oh, you can really so see it, too. I'm just like running back and forth in front of. Hey, that's okay. I think I need to Driving <laughs> Harry crazy. That's really cool. Yeah, because mine have the leftover green that I didn't wash out of it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, a super wet sponge is next. Not like dripping wet. But like you want out. it like yeah. like that wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. Like that's about right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I could. I I thought instead of verbally explaining it, I could. Just hey, go. you can tell by the feeling. Yeah. No, that yeah. makes sense. It's it's got water in it. I can tell it's damp, but I'm not. 
I wonder like, if you should scoop it out. Just so you if I just have it touch me, like you can't see any I, water. If you want to. You might be able to. I don't know. <laughs> it's I a lot of light. Your okay. preference, but what I did was I kind of scrunched up the sponge like that, and I actually did this, so I only got the color I wanted. So like okay. coming up on the corner. And okay. then what I do is I actually kind of rub it in a little bit. Okay. I don't I don't know if you do that or if you just kind of leave like because you can get a, a different effect if you leave some of the big goobers and then kind of blend them out. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. with like a makeup sponge, I guess. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, let's try let's try that. Okay. Well, or, like whatever corner is like this one's pretty like textured, so it's a good thinking something like this. Yeah. 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 Like that, and you just, just spin it around. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, because I think for most of my space paintings, I have not been using sponges. Uh, so who's it? Uh. Ooh, look at the uh. contrast. So, so with this kind of border, will be kind of <laughs> like, like there, like the the how it looks is like it'll kind of like go in. So like you'll have it along the edge, but there'll be parts that kind of like point inward like how these guys are already kind of sitting it'll just be like hinting at what we're gonna bring after oh okay okay yeah and so this i didn't massage it in and you can like see the difference where it's just like a huge goober of paint wow yeah versus yeah and then just feel it in okay let's just and just Do you want to switch sides? How are you feeling? Do you want to just kind of s keep it to the same sides that we've been doing? Oh. Um, it was just an idea. It's kind of a nice sound, eh? Yeah, it's very soothing. <laughs> so yeah, I was about to say, I can start to feel the zen coming. <laughs> Yeah. And you could like definitely like just like go over the same spot to just like give it that yeah. like blurred effect too. Well, yeah, we're trying to center in towards the center here. So yeah, yeah I'm feeling like uh, think, bolder colors down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... I think you want to concentrate some more of the colors, like have it wider and stuff here as well and like brighter, I guess. Yeah, and yeah. then as we go up, it'll be mostly like the border. Yeah. Yeah. So you want, yeah, like the, definitely keep like the dark part of the center. Yeah. I kind of went over it like a little bit. So like, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you can just like pull like a bit out from the center. So. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it's okay. I'm just like coming straight to your camera. Hey, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's a collective art piece right now. Yeah. Yeah, I've been kind of going into the black like a little bit. Just that's a good idea because it's not like yeah. And it's not even making black. them touch in some spots because it'll kind of do that. I don't think I'm gonna put any more up at the top though. I think I'm just gonna mostly kind of focus like. Yeah, maybe down in here. And then like put a little to accent the lighter blue. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so like, can, like there's a lighter blue bit here. So I'm gonna give that a little kiss. Yeah. A little smudge. And just give it that like, little texture. Kiss. Yeah, like little, this one. Yes. A little kiss. <laughs> like a little <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have fun. Yeah, we, yeah. we do have fun. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, a little lavender piece there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What are you thinking? Should we, uh... mm, I think you could be more bold. More bold with this? Yeah. Okay, let's try that strategy. Really lean into it. But not consistently bold. Have like some heavier stuff kind of down here and like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Let's try. Like, if, if you don't want it. Yeah, please, yeah, please. 
This very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just keep going with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got some purple from that too. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you're right. We probably should have scooped it. I should have scooped it elsewhere, but oh, of course. it'll be okay. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's... Only happy accidents. Yeah. <laughs> just like Bob Ross. This is another one of my early influences. Please, yay, Bob Ross. I'm actually gonna watch this sponge. Yeah, because we're gonna do the next. And it has to be like a white, right? White or you could do like or a I, mint green. And is this the... Is this phase two, basically? Yeah. Like this is, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Which like we have like, add another color? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I would like to put a little bit of mint green in here. Like yeah. this phthalo green based light green. Okay. That's yeah. like the same intensity of this and then go in after with the, the blue white. Yeah. Like, Capiche, yeah? Yeah. I'm feeling. I'm going to there. That's the ticket. That that's, oh, are you yeah. doing a little twist? Yeah, yeah. I'm not being too consistent. I'm being it's a it's a sponge, and I'm using all the paint that's yeah. there. Yeah. You know what's kind of wild? that's cool. I like that. Yeah, it's it's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, but this used to be like a living thing. Like this was alive. The sponge. Yes, mm -hmm. this was a cnidarian, a sea animal. Really? Yeah, and we're just like using its like denuded corpse for painting. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. I had no idea that this, this was not, an animal. Yeah. yeah this I is, thought uh, this was. I thought this was synthetic. Good. No, it's not. No. So. Well, you, thank you for your service. Yeah, yes. Great. If you if you want to, if you want it to be vegan, then yeah, you have to use. As it was drying, I was like, oh, mine's not like as consistent on this side as yours is. There we go. Okay, now I have to add leather dot to the back. Okay. Um, yeah, you can use synthetic sponges if you want, but right. like, then it's, you know, probably plastic based and petroleum product derived. So yeah. True. Pick, pick, which pick your poison. Pick yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. I like this. Yeah. Oh. I should probably watch this too. Yeah, yes. I'm finished. I'm finished as well too. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sure you're going to use it too. <clears throat> That's Excuse amazing. Me. Yeah, it's super fun, right? So this is the completion of phase two. What What are we going to be looking for next? Oh, after that, we'll be putting on some stars. Uh, for more of the the dots kind of on the yes, side the okay sponges, but okay. we just gotta wash the sponges because sometimes if you mix like you know colors that are kind of opposite or too far apart on the color wheel then you just get brown if you're not going for brown then that's not what you want no no no, yeah. no i don't imagine yeah if you're not going for brown but just for the interest of time yeah. oh well i'm going to mix up some of the light green yeah we're feeling green, right, Beck? Like just a little bit. I think so. Yeah. yeah, just a little bit green. I'm gonna put it in its own container, and I'm not gonna make very much of it. Mm -hmm. I think this is mm, maybe. I know yes. this mine is darker. Yeah, and I think this one must be. Okay. Uh, Thank you so much. Oh, wait, actually, I have this aqua green. Just want to use this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Here, let's see to just show it off to the camera here as well, too. Oh, sure. So you're going to be adding, okay, so this aqua green here. Yeah, because it's pre mixed. So we'll just use that. Okay, yeah. nice. Um, I think it might dry a bit darker than that, though. So it should probably still add a little bit of white. Yeah. Yeah. And this will be like, a, like an accent for sure. Yeah, so we're not going to go as full torque with this, right? Okay. Like um, each color we're using, we're kind of using like less and less and less, I guess, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And as you mix this one up, we'll get a nice good view of what this looks like as well too, as you create it. Sure. Yeah, so it looked very minty, almost like a mint green as well too. Yeah, now you it's... can grab the bottle there too, if you want to kind of... This one? Yes. Aqua green, yeah. Aqua green. So we had kind of this color right here, 
And now we have even more mint. Mint. Is that is that real good? More white or I like it because yeah. it's actually going to be like a highlight on top of like the paint, like this too. Like it's even lighter yes. than our purple. You are folding your sponge, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I grab yours or did I grab mine? It's valid. <laughs> um. I'm not sure it matters too much or if I would notice. Now for this second portion, uh, are we still being just as generous or are we being a little less generous or what are we thinking? Slightly less because we're kind of moving from the outside to like the inside. Yeah, gotcha. like making like a pyramid of color. Gotcha. Okay, So Sweet. I It'll think the like... individual dabs can be as generous, but its distribution is not as generous. Okay. Yeah, so like we want some of the pink. Yeah, I'm gonna to watch. Be, yeah, so like, oh yeah, that's not so good. And what I've done is I've like goobered it on there and I'm using a clean side because I was like, oh, that's a lot. And I'm just doing this. <laughs> and like, feel free to like have yours like pop into like the center too because mm -hmm. it'll be like the last color until we get like the brightest like the okay okay yeah. let me give that so that's what we have before let's see what we give for after yeah that looks good okay the green wasn't good well. <gasps> sorry <laughs> i almost i almost got here again okay i believe in you spread it with your feet remember your war cry yes ah! Ah! <laughs> And, it uh, looks nice. Yeah, it's it looks nice. nice. I just, I always get so, I, I get so thinky, thinking that I'm going to just like, oh, I'm gonna ruin it if I put it in this weird spot. But you literally can't ruin it. It's, it's kind of because we're not trying to replicate a specific image. I, again, I think that's what helps. That's yeah. what helps. I don't have anything to compare and contrast besides your, you folks right here, which has made this really easy to replicate myself. And also, someday, we will all return to dust, and then this will go to a thrift store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's dark. It is dark, but it is kind of... But very true. Like, but very true. Just, just yeah. like, it, does, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Just have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good time. And I still have to, like, learn that mentality, because I, like, think about that all the time. I'm like, but what about my art? Well, I don't think you, you just have that mentality always 24-7. I think yeah. that would be something that you have to remind yourself of, even despite how well practiced that mentality might be. Yeah, too, right? I do. Um, I have to think, like, oh, I, I just, you know, did this, and I ruined it. And I'm like, if I didn't ruin it, it's fine. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. it's fine. It's Clark and Perry on the case. Ja -na -na -na. Clark and Perry, do what it takes. Ja -na -na -na. Clark and Perry, investigate. The activities and interests of local artists in the Windy City's finest throughout both Lethbridge and Medicine Hat, Alberta. Available on TELUS, Optic TV, On Demand, Vidflex, YouTube, and more for limited time only. Terms and conditions apply. Ja -na -na -na.